God, no, bring no. it out. I'm confused so far. What is this all about? What is this all about? Yeah, teach me. So we're all here teaching that the so-called black is supposed to be Native Americans are the children of Israel. Right, right. That's what we're all here to teach. We're all here to teach repentance. You know, so through based on scripture, you would be an Israelite according to the Bible. Right? When you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it gets in debt on curses that would fit a particular people upon the face of the earth that does not fit everybody. And when you go through these curses thoroughly, all you got to do is look at them as an identifier and see who today fits these curses. And when you go through these curses, only the black, Hispanic, and Native American man fits them. Right. So that's how we know who the chosen people are according to this Bible. That's what we are here to teach. I'm going to show you one curse to prove how you, in fact, will be an Israelite. Right, let's get that. Deuteronomy 2068 classic. Bring it out. I need a. Uh, uh, Bring it out, kid. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So it says, and the Lord will bring you into Egypt again. Now, what were we doing in Egypt previously? We were slaves, sister. We were enslaved inside of Egypt. So now after we were free from Egypt, we dwelt in the wilderness for 40 years when we read Deuteronomy in the 8th chapter. The Lord gets in debt and explains how we was, uh, uh, he humbled us, you understand, throughout the 40 years. But nevertheless, now he's making a new covenant with us, or the first covenant still, letting it be known that if you don't keep these commandments, here are some things that are going to happen to you. So he's saying that, and the Lord will bring thee into Egypt again. So if we were slaves in Egypt the first time, what is Egypt synonymous for within this context? Let's bring it up. We're going to show you according to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 6. No. No. I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Right? From the house of bondage. From what? From, From the, the house, house of bondage. bondage. Egypt is considered the house of bondage, meaning the house of slavery. So the Lord said he's going to bring us back into bondage again, meaning slavery. Now, would you be a so-called African-American woman? Right? So how did the African-Americans come to America in the first place? What was our, what was our source of transportation? You don't know how we got from Africa to America? Through the what? Slavery, exactly. Now, what source of transportation? Did the white man take us and put us on an airplane? No. By a what? A boat. A boat, right? Now, did everybody in the world go into slavery on slave ships? No. So let's see what this Bible says. Read it from the top. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again. With ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. Read it again. With, with ships. ships. So this was prophesied 4,000 years ago. Understand, Moses had to be known that the Israelites would be in captivity, would be a slave ship if they was disobedient to the Most High God. Now when you look upon the face of the earth, when you look into history, what nation of people was raped, robbed, murdered, and pillaged by a whole other nation? It was only the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American men. Right. Right. We was raped. We was robbed. We was right. murdered. You understand? They was taking no, our babies away. There was away a from lot us. of white people. You understand? Yeah, and she says this. And, and you understand? Same and thing happened. And you can't to. find nowhere in history where this happens to another nation. Right. Yeah. And you have to provide me a time, a right. date, and an account where this happens. Ah! Right. right. And, and they always say it happened to other people, but they can't prove it. Right. Uh, this Bible and history alone correlates with one another and proves right. that the children of Israel, in fact, is the so called black, Hispanic, and Native American. Right. right. You understand? And there's no way around it. Let's read on and see what else would be the rest of this curse. Read it, King. And the, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Now, sister, where's your homeland? Give me Tobit chapter 1 and verse number 4. What would, you, so what would your homeland be? It can't be Africa. They say Africa, but there's 54 countries. You know, someone from Ghana is not going to say they're from Ghana. If you're from Liberia, you're going to say you're from there. If you're Egyptian, you're from Egypt. Well, where's the African American from? Right? Because they gave us two. They gave us the names of two white men: right. Ergo Vespucci and Leo Scipio Africanus. Right. You understand? And we don't derive from two white men. Right. You understand? We derive from our forefather Jacob, whose name was That's changed right. to Israel. Right. Right. Bring it up. Man. Yep, come on. This is where you're from, sister. We're going to show you. The Tobin. It's lucky. It's lucky. Because it said, and you'll never see it again, meaning you're home. Right? Well, let's see where this mighty sister is. Bring it out. Put the Tobin, chapter 1, verse 4. Bring it out. No. And when I was in my own country. Read it again. And, and when, when I, I was, was in my own, own country. In the land of my oppressor. When, when I, was I was in my, my own country. Where? In the land of Israel. Where? In, in the, the land, land of Israel. Israel. In, in the, the land of Israel. Israel. That's where you're from, sister. Right. We're from Israel. Right. right. We the Israelites. It's, 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 this time you can see it. We the Israelites and we from Israel. Right. So that's where you would be from, sister. You understand? Read on, King. 
By the way whereof I spake unto thee, right. thou shalt see it no more again. You'll never see Israel again. Yeah. And there ye shall be sold. Read it again. And, and there, there ye shall, shall be sold. What happened to the sister? And there ye shall be sold. What is public sale of slaves? And, and there, there ye shall, shall be sold. Where in history can you show me a public sale of slaves at a white man? Nowhere. Where can you show me that about the Chinese? Nowhere. What about the East Indian? Nowhere. You cannot show me anything about a public sale by the nation. Right. These other nations going through what the so-called black Hispanic and Native American women and men and child went through. Right. Mm. You can't. So it says, and there you shall be sold. Read on. Unto your enemies. Unto who? Unto, Unto your, your enemies. enemies. Unto your, your enemies. For what? For bond men and bond women. For what? For bond men and bond women. Right? And it says, give me Nahum chapter 3 of verse 1. You see this? It says we're going to be sold unto our enemies for slave men and slave women. Now, what nation of people was buying us off the auction blocks during the public sale of slaves? Who was buying us? This six foot slave, 250 pounds, one dollar, two dollar, five hundred dollars, ten dollar. Who, who, who was buying us, sister? Was we buying each other? Nah. We didn't even have no money. Right. Right. We can't. So who was buying us off the auction blocks? Who was who, who was the one whipping our backs and during them in, in them um, slave fields, sister? Did you know that um, us White getting whipped man, was yeah. mentioned in the Bible? Did you know us getting whipped was mentioned in the Bible? Mm. Christianity don't read these, these, these you, scriptures. You, Hold on, you, you're being ignorant. You no, no, I'm not being ignorant. This is in order. The scripture says this is in order. I feel like this is brainwashing. All right, let's read that. Bring it out, Katie. Let's read the Hebrew 3 and 1. Bring that out! Because you got the damn devil happened. trying to come in. They don't want the you to know your truth, sister. Happened. Right. That's I the problem. Do. She's trying right. to distract you and not let you know Those your history. Right. 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 If, if I can't show you right. your history, Who's what makes you think your damn oppressor who raped out and murdered you can't? Right. She can't. And this is they're mad because we wake up and figure out who we are. She's upset. She's upset you're not gonna call yourself an African American. She's upset you're not gonna continue to call yourself black. Am I saying anything? Am I sister? Anything I'm saying? Am I saying it out my own mind, or we read it directly from this Bible? Right. What am I twisting? You're answering all the questions for me. I said, who went into slavery? Right. The black Hispanic and Americans. Who went on the slave? You told me. Did you tell me we went on the slave ship system? And you know what? To be honest, the word of God says the whole world would be blessed through the same. She can't. She can't. She can't give me one scripture. The whole world would be blessed through the same. Woe to, to the bloody city! Read it again! Woe to the bloody city! What is America? Woe to the bloody city! What is the white woman? Woe to the bloody city! Read on! It is, it, it is all full of lies! It is what? It is all full of lies! Is she? It is all full of lies! telling this mighty queen? It is all full of lies! She's full of lies, man! That's what American does! Right! This land is built on the soil of blood right. by the Israelites! Right! Full right. of lies! Right. right! And that's what she's continuing to tell you, lies! Right. Because she don't want you to tell the truth, right? Read that, Kenny! And robbery! And what? And robbery! What did they do to us? And, and robbery! Did they not rob us from the land of Africa on right. the west coast and bring us over here? Right! right. So to profit themselves? Right! right. right. Read that, Kenny! That speak is nothing! Read it! The prey the part is not! Read! The prey and the part of not! Oh, read on! Read! The noise of a whip! The what? The words of a whip. Chime in, brothers. Read it again. The words of a whip. What is this? The words of a whip. The noise of a whip. Who was that whip used for? Was we playing tag with a whip? Was we jump roping with the whip? So what was we doing with the whip? What was they doing with the whip? The Israelites were given to the rest of the world and dispersed and sold as this man right here. Will Smith just made a documentary on this man. Will Smith just made a documentary on this man. Right. You understand, sister? So you better understand. We're out here to let people know where they are. And the answer was in this Bible this whole time. Right. This Bible was written by the Israelites, to the Israelites, for the Israelites. Right. Nobody else. Right. It was, and, and contrary to popular belief, Christians don't read this Bible. They read, God loves everyone. God so loved the world. He gave his only begotten son. What world is that? They, they can't get around it. Do you not? If I have a kid. Yes. Or, or nevertheless, yes. you see these That's movies exactly with these husbands, right. they'll call because their wives, oh, this is my world, this is my everything. Do we not see that today, sister? There is a lot so what, why do you think God doesn't speak like that? When you read Matthew the 13th chapter, he says, this is 
we and speak they were slang. And they said, let them be like that. We're made in his image. Let them be like that. She can't speak his slang. Right. That's why she didn't give me all her Psalms 2 and 1. I'm going to show you what she's doing right now. Right. Because she's upset. Right. Coming back to your roots, sister. Bring it out. She's upset that your daughter is lying and not her. Right. She's a damn slave and the devil is about to speak to her. Right. And I'm going to prove that. With hatred. Bring that out. When I want to come, people want to come and they want to bring the message of salvation. This is not evil, I'll tell you right now. What is evil what? is to place yourself Why do the heathens rage? 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 Why is she raging? Why is she so upset? Why is she mad that I'm just telling you you're God's chosen people? And she got to hop on a bike and try to overspeak us. It's not that disrespectful. She's clearly claiming to be a woman of God. Look how she's treating the men of the Lord. Right. It makes no sense, sister. These are it's madness. The woman's supposed to be silent. It says, why do the heathen rage? They're saying, worship me because of my skin color. And the people imagine the vain thing. What? And the people imagine the vain thing. And the people imagine the vain thing. And that vain thing is her imagine is that she and all her other heathenistic people can be saved. And I feel right. bad for anybody so that's in trouble in this in message world. of lies. You have to show me a scripture saying that. As in, right. What is Jesus she doing? She Christ runs off your rages because she's scared. See, right. She knows she Jesus can't talk to us this Bible because the Bible is running for Right. Before Israel has existed, God existed. He was here long before he called Abraham. Long before Abraham. Again. Hey, yo. Israel means wrestles with God. These are people who are still wrestling with God. They hate him. They hate his message of salvation to the whole world. Still wrestling with God. Right? No, we're not going to bring the mic. I pray. And they're, they're, they're putting, a, they're putting the skin color on him. That's what they're saying. He's Jesus because of the skin color, and that's it. Did we mention the skin color? When did I say skin color? So God, yes. It don't matter. So God loved the whole world, not just for the whole life. Right. He is the whole world. We come across the whole world. They're slaves because they reject him. They're Messiah. Not because you worship him in spirit and in truth. He came. Bring it out. Those who are worship in spirit and truth. Don't mind her, sister. Let's bring that up. The book of Acts, chapter 13, verse 1. Now let's know what the people of God were called. And sister, I want you to be honest. I want you to tell me if this woman was ever called this terminology I was about to bring out, okay? Bring it up. Only the people of God were called this in the Bible. And I promise you, you've never heard this in the Bible. Right. Read it, okay? Now there were in church that was in Antioch right? certain prophets. Certain what? Certain, certain prophets. prophets. The men of the Lord, certain, certain prophets. prophets. And teachers. And what? And, and teachers. teachers. As Barnabas and Simeon. Right? That was called nigger. That was called what? That, that were called nigger. That was called what? That, that were called nigger. That was called nigger. Was she ever called a nigger? No. Why? Because she's, 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 she's not us. She's not right. There was a, give, me, give me all 1 Kings 9 and 7. It was a curse to be called a nigger. Did you know that? Right. Hold it, hold it. It's a curse to be called a nigger. It's a curse to be called African American. Right. It's a curse to be called black. Right. And I'm going to show you why. She was never called that. What did she say she was from? She said she was Irish and Italian. She knows her roots. She knows where she descends from. Sister. Right. But we don't. We call ourselves, we call ourselves two continents. Right. We call ourselves a color. Right. We're speaking their language. Right. But she knows where she comes from. Why? Because the children, I mean, because the God, he punished his chosen people for not keeping his laws, sister. That's how you know where he's chosen people, because he's keeping his curse. First Kings chapter 9, verse 7, bring it out. Then will I cut off Israel. Read it again. Then will I cut off Israel. Listen to the sister. Then will I cut off Israel. Read on. Out of the land which I have given them, which is Israel, the of and this house which I have hallowed for my name, right? will I cast out of my sight? Will I what? Will I cast out of my sight? And Israel, and who? And Israel, and Israel, and Israel, shall be a proverb, shall be a proverb, shall be a proverb, and a proverb, and a proverb, and a proverb. And a byword. And a byword. Because we never got 
Right. We can support Irish and Italian from Italy who comes from a wealthy background. Right. But where do we come from? The, ho the hoods, the slums, and the ghettos. Right. The rats and vultures who call ourselves of color are getting right. oppressed by our people in 2023 AD. Right. Right. You can't, you can't, you can't get around the scriptures. This Bible is written and talking about one people. Right. And she's so mad that she's not that people. Right. Come in. Right. You, you can't get mad that you can't join the club. Right. Right. It's a VIP members only. Right. She's not allowed. Right. But you know. Right. You ain't with us. You in the club. Right. We just read some curses. Right. Right. That's the slip of the tongue. The Lord made her say that. Right. See that? That's how the Lord gets down. Right. The Lord's just like us. How we think, how we talk, how we look. Right. We're meeting in there. Right. They got no flavor. Right. Their hair is dead. Right. She got no melanin. Right. A walking zombie. Right. You see what I'm saying? Trying to grow locks. Thank you. 
And now Israel, what do, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? The Lord requires of Israel. Right. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. How do you do that? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. And this is what's happening. Right. I curse upon you guys. I curse this message. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Yeshua. It will be broken down and it will not last here. The roots of this will not expand at all whatsoever. Because the Lord God comes himself, every eye will see him, every, every single eye will see him, every tongue will confess and every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father, to the glory of God, not to the glory of skin color, not to the glory, they want to come, they want to create more problems between the white man and the black man, they want to create more problems. This is about skin color. This is about Bring it out. But then be born to be subject to be the body and bow to be born again to obey the spirit of God through His Son Jesus Christ. Be Bring it out. That the two verse one. Get on your knees and repent. But speak thou the thing. This has nothing to do with skin color. We have all hated our neighbor right? at one point or another. Right? That the age men be sober. Right? Women right? whether they're black or white. Right? We have all hated a man whether they're black or white. Right? In patience. The age but woman comes likewise. To it, I all have the age woman likewise. Short of the glory of God. All of us. That they be in behavior. What? That they be in behavior. That they be in behavior. As become with holiness. As become with what? As become with holiness. Not false accusers. Not what? Not false accusers. And all you're trying to do is raise him up. Look at what he's doing. Look at me. Come on, everybody knows so many people. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. That they may teach the young woman to be sober. To be sober. To love their husband. To love their husband. To love their children. This right here is lies. To be discreet. To be discreet. No, we need to do. I'll tell you what. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. Keepers at home. Vengeance is mine. I shall repay the Lord. And he will repay vengeance on the wicked. But I promise you, it won't be because some are black and some are white. It will not be because of that. It will be because every single man is accountable before God of his own deeds. He says, I will recompense every man according to his deeds. I will pay every single person here according to what they have done. Not what your neighbor did. Right. None of us will move. stand before Never God know with an at. excuse. Never know who she's what. We I don't will all give an account of ourselves. And it will not be because, because of our skin right. color. Good, obedient to their own husband. Right, and be obedient to your own husband. Right. He's referencing, listen, be submissive. Obviously, if he's righteous and keeping the commandments and showing you the way. But you gotta be submissive to your husband. Right. You understand? It's not that your husband is the top notch, but at the same time, he is, sister. That's the head of your house. Absolutely. You understand? Right. If you marry, of course. But if your husband is the head of your house, he leads, he guides, he protects, he provides. Right. Right. So while he does all these things, what do you have to do? Be discreet, submissive, not talk back, and do as he asks you to do. Father God, in the name of relation. Jesus. Right, read Yeshua okay. HaMashiach, I pray that the word of God that be the Spirit not of God fall on this place and cleanse every wicked, every wicked man of the Bible. Bring it out. The woman shall the not wear what pertains unto a man. Read it again. Every the every woman, part woman part shall not wear what pertains to a man. Read it again. The woman can't wear what pertains to a man. And every eye that can see my dear people eyes that can see, give them ears to hear. And I thank you, Father God, that you would cause them to repent. And those who will not repent, remove their memory from this earth. They and their seed. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. I'm going to tell you, Jesus said, a righteous man fails. Seven times in one day and gets back up. A righteous man falls seven times in one day. It is not about a 
Jesus think about it. You're good. You're good. Think about it, sister. Don't believe liars. The Queen and the King back when you watch all the movies and all the TV shows. For ears to hear. Get on your knees. Get on your face and ask him to ask him to show you. The truth. Yeah, Ask him to show you the way. Wearing? Jesus, you will hear him say, wearing? I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. Right. No so man comes to the Father but by me. Not because that, he has in that, in that era. Era. he said, no, he didn't in say that. He said, but by me. I say it ain't nothing to do with what this skin color. The whole world is blessed. The whole world has been blessed through Abraham's seed. She don't need a zipper, sister. Because they have come, and they have been to the Jews come together right. and their seed so has mingled with the rest of the world man. which has God blessed the rest of the world. Right. So that's spiritual man, blessing. So most high the seed in the future is a spiritual so blessing. Start getting some justice and be a modest Israelite woman. Don't get right. this message twisted, folks. It ain't about your skin, skin color. Right. It's about the Savior of the world. First Timothy, chapter Stop 2, verse 9. Bring it out. Stop in like manner, also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel. That woman do what? That, that woman, woman adore themselves, themselves in modest apparel. What is the dress? That, that woman, woman adorn themselves, themselves in modest apparel. You have to wear a modern apparel, sister, right? Which is the dress we know. With same faces and sobriety, right? Not with broided hair or gold or pearl or costly array. Right? But with becoming a woman professing godliness. Professing what? Professing godliness. Professing godliness. Professing godliness. So sister, you understand? You could throw on a dress, but that don't mean you just gotta throw on any raggedy old dress. Right. We got nice dresses that sisters can wear. Right. But you see all these brothers' mighty shirts? The specific attire, which the next commandment we're gonna get, and I don't wanna give it away yet. But you know, we all get nice in this thing. The Lord right. dress is nice. Right. 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 Give me wisdom of Solomon one and ten. Right? It says you, you can still wear you can still wear pearls, sister. You can still wear your earrings. Right. right. You can still wear your necklaces, your bracelets. You can do these things. Our foremothers were wearing these things. Sister. Right. 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 Just like the men had a specific thing that we wear today. Right. Read that. I mean, not wisdom. It's like you're so um, Sing it out. The book of Songs of Solomon, one in ten. Thy cheeks are comely with rows of jewels. What are gross? Thy cheeks are comely with rows of gold. Rolls of gold. You know what our sister? With gold in our mouth. There's no new thing on the side. Read that again for the top. Brothers chime in. Thy cheeks are comely with rolls of jewels. What the Lord say? Thy cheeks are comely with rolls of jewels. Rolls of jewels, sister. Thy neck with chains of gold. Thy what? Thy neck with chains of gold. These two mighty brothers got Thy neck with chains of gold. That money can't have fun. Thy neck with chains of gold. Right! Ain't nobody look better in jewelry than the Israelites. Right! It's just something about that gold touching our melanin on our skin. Right! Right! It's just something about it, sister. Right! But when a so-called Caucasian boy is going in there, man. You see Eminem with some pearls, that's good. Right. Take right. them things out, man. Take them chains off, man. Give it to right. the Israelites. Right! right. Right. Let's see another command, sister. Exodus chapter 20, verse 8. Bring it up. Remember the Sabbath day. Read it again. Remember the Sabbath day. What's today? Remember the Sabbath day. You gotta go? No. All praises. Just get a flyer from the sister button. All praises. All right, sister, you will be an Israelite according to the Bible, all right? All right, thank you so much. We love you, sister. Shalom. All praise to the most high. You don't got no questions, King? I'm just speaking to you all the time. Okay. Yeah. My wife. Come! Oh, mighty! Uh, mighty King! Oh, praise to the most high, King. Lord, Lord willing to see you, man. I told you, that's a beautiful thing, man. Right? Give me Isaiah 55 and 6. Bring it out. That's a beautiful thing. That's the book of Isaiah, chapter 55, verse 6. Bring it out. Hey, Seek hey. ye fish. Fish. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Read it again. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. What is Israel doing in these last days? Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Read it again. Call ye upon him while he is near. Call ye upon him while he is near. That's what's happening in these last days. 
right? Are people out here seeking a role where he may be found, right? Because once that famine of the word comes, you understand? Once the prophets ain't out on the corners, right. once that EMP drop, you're not going to be able to find a prophet. Right. My right? brothers just mentioned that earth, uh, uh, yesterday, I believe. You understand that they're going to be coming right to Thayer Street, they're going to come right to KP, they're going to come right to the You understand? You're going into slavery. You're going into slavery. You're going into slavery. Yeah, we wasn't even listening to her dealing with her. The wicked flea were nowhere for soon. Right. right. You know, so she couldn't hang with them in the world. Why did they get right. the range? Right. Right. But nevertheless, dude, they're going to be coming on these houses and bodies looking for them in the middle of the Right. Right. Where's that brother Azrael at? That brother Amor, man. Right. right. That brother Shabal. Where are these brothers at, man? Right. Where the brother brothers from three other scriptures who was trying to tell me I'm in Israel? They got beamed up. Say it again? Got beamed up. Hey, hey. <laughs> Most high will. We already in them charities, man. Right. You understand? But. We have to seek the Lord while he may be found because he's not going to be around forever. Right. Hey, to bring, bring over here, kid. Nah. Bring, when, say, when I say fish, you got to bring him over here. Bring over here, kid. Come on, sister. We out here for you, sister. Nobody else. Sister, let me ask you one question. Sister, let me ask you one question. All praises to the Most High. Brothers and Zohar, would you come on? Ah, all praises to the Most High. Uh, to the sister one of the Lord. All praises, all praises. Good seeing you, sister. Who gave you a flower? I told you. Oh, I was going to say, one of these fine gentlemen over here, Chani, you know? <laughs> all praises. Let's check it out, sister. While you're teaching that the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. Right. Right? And the Lord died for a specific nation to give repentance for their sins. Now, do you see yourself on the services? But which tribe would you come from? Right? Would you be a so-called African American? Would you be from the West Indies, Jamaican, Trinidadian? Right? Would you be a Dominican? Right? What do you mean? Dominican? Your mom or your dad? My mom. Oh? All praise. All praise to the most high system. So. Are you aware that the Dominicans who went into slavery by the Conquistadors and Spaniards prior to 1492? They went into slavery, sister. Yes, they were. You know that, right? They brought you to the, uh, the man of Española, which was later changed yes. to the Dominican Republic yes, in Haiti, right? Yes. So, when they brought y'all over there, where was you, before they brought y'all over there, where was you before that, sister? Who were you? What were you speaking? In the Lord's thoughts? Yes. But what about the actual physical people who were there? Man, it was in a physical landmass. It was in a physical landmass? Yeah. Before the Dominican Republic, they was in land. What land were they in? America. Which one? They were in Africa. America? The West Coast, the West Africa. And that's where the Spanish and Conquistas came in and took you. Brought you to the Dominican Republic and made you space. You know about the Tainos? Yes. Yes. Is that Tainos right here, sister? Yes. yes. Yeah. Those are Tainos. Those are your ancestors. So, why did this happen to our people, sister? Why this happen? The racist. The racist, right? The hard. They racist, right? Machos, machos, mixing So look, God said, if my kids don't follow my rules, I'm gonna punish them, right? Yes. Do you punish your children when they be bad? No. No? You don't punish your children when they bad? I, I talk to them. There's still, there's still some type of correction though, right? Yes. You correct them and you tell them to do the right thing, right? Yes. So that's what God does with his children. When they go, when they do bad or they don't do what they need to do, he corrects them. Now God, he's a little different. His correction is a little more harsh than your correction. So what God did was, he put our people in slavery for not following his rules. Did you know that was in the Bible? Yes. Where? And that they punish yep. people. I don't remember the book. We're gonna show you. But I know that he says we hard we battle, we battle. 
I have a question. Are you better at speaking Spanish? Yes. You better at speaking Spanish? Yes. Shema one. I don't care. Shema one. Shema one. You can go on the hot over there. Gotta be wise. Nosotros estamos enseñando que nosotros somos el pueblo de Israel, acuerdo de la Biblia. Y nosotros, el tiempo ahora que nosotros regresemos para atrás para los mandamientos de la Biblia, porque mira las condiciones de nuestra gente. Mira, mira alrededor, mira lo que tú ves. La gente usando droga, la gente fornicando. ¿No es verdad que sí? La gente fornicando, ¿verdad? Entonces, en la Biblia hay una gente elegida por Dios. ¿Usted ha oído del pueblo de Israel? Sí. ¿Eh? Esos son el pueblo elegido de Dios. Cuando usted va para la iglesia, esa iglesia que lo que dice la cristianidad, cuando se termina el culto, dicen, el pueblo del Señor dice, porque el Señor tiene un pueblo, y ese pueblo se llama el pueblo de Israel. Y aquí estamos demostrando sin ninguna duda que los hispanos, los prietos americanos, y los nativos, lo que tuve con las con la dos, con las plumitas en la cabeza, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. estamos enseñando que esa gente sí son el pueblo de Israel y lo podemos demostrar a acuerdo de la Biblia. No acuerdo como yo me siente, no acuerdo de mis sentimientos o lo que yo quiera decir, sino es lo que dice Dios. Y eso es lo que ¿Usted entiende inglés? Sí. Le voy a enseñar una. De la, de la cosa que dice la Biblia, así podemos demostrar quiénes son el pueblo de Israel o quiénes no son el pueblo de Israel. Bring that Deuteronomy chapter 28, 15 kings. It's the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Bring it up. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Estamos escuchando ahí. Eso, eso es cuando Moisés liberó al pueblo de Israel y le está dando los estatutos y los mandamientos. Al pueblo de Israel estaba diciendo, si tú no escuchas la palabra de Dios, Continue, to observe, to do all his commandments Stop. and his statutes, hacer todos los mandamientos y estatutos, Continue, Which I command thee this day that all these curses that all these what? That all these, these curses, curses que todas estas maldiciones ahora si yo te maldigo doña que no pienso hacerlo es una cosa buena o una cosa mala que usted me dice? Mala Mala, no verdad que sí? Aquí estamos escuchando que dice la palabra de Dios dice si usted no escucha y hace los mandamientos que yo digo hoy, que todas estas maldiciones, que sabemos que es una cosa mala, ¿no es verdad que sí? Todas estas maldiciones, que todas estas curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Que de todas estas maldiciones no va a llegar encima y no va a apoderar de nosotros. Ahora tenemos que averiguar. Porque en ese mismo libro de Deuteronomio, así podemos identificar quién es el pueblo de Israel. ¿Verdad? Si yo le pregunto a usted, ¿cómo llegaron? ¿De qué nacionalidad ustedes? ¿De qué nacionalidad usted? Dominicana. Dominicana. Si yo le pregunto a usted, ¿cómo llegaron la gente a la República de Cuba Dominicana que se llamaba Quisqueya? ¿Cómo llegaron esa gente? Cuéntala. Procedente de los africanos. ¿Y cómo llegaron los africanos? Este, en, un, en tres carabelas conquistó al Colón. En tres carabelas que ahora mismo lo llaman barco. Sí. ¿Verdad? Sí. ¿Llegaron en avión? No. ¿Llegaron en helicóptero? No. ¿Llegaron en tren? No. ¿Llegaron caminando? No. ¿Cómo llegaron esa gente? En tres carabelas, la niña, la pinche y la Santa María. No, ¿verdad no. que sí? En barco. Ahora vamos a, a, a señales. 
Con prueba contundente. ¿Tú sabes lo que es prueba contundente? Sí. Con prueba contundente que esa gente de Quisqueya, hoy llamada República Dominicana, son sin duda el pueblo de Israel. Déjame enseñarles. ¿no? Ah. Para que se lo sepa, mi doña. Espérense, para yo enseñarle con prueba sin contundente apoyo de la Biblia. El libro de Deuteronomio, capítulo 28, versículo 15. Pero acontecerá. Pero acontecerá significa que vas a pasar. ¿Verdad? Si no oyeres. La voz de Jehová, tu Dios. Si tú no escuchas la palabra de Dios, sigues. Para procurar cumplir todos sus mandamientos. No, uno de sus mandamientos. Todos sus mandamientos. No, cinco nada más. Todos sus mandamientos. No, solamente los diez. Todos sus mandamientos. Dice la palabra, todos sus mandamientos, sigue. Y sus tatuas. Y sus estatutos, sigue. Que yo te intimo hoy. Que te digo yo hoy, usted también lo está escuchando hoy también, ¿no es verdad que sí? Sí. Ok, siga. Que vendrán sobre ti ¿Qué? todas estas maldiciones. ¿Que llega qué? Que vendrán sobre ti todas oh. estas maldiciones. Entonces, podemos reconocer acuerdo de las maldiciones que en el pueblo de Israel y quien no es el pueblo de Israel. Ahora yo tengo un examinito para ti. Un poco, un examen. Ok. Bring it down to 68. Real quick. Let's go to the cherry on top. Bring it out. Bring it out, King. A recuérdese que yo le pregunté cómo llegaron esos dominicanos o esos quisquillanos a esa isla. Usted me dijo que no era por avión, no era por tren, no era por helicóptero, pero si no, ¿por qué? Por barco que se llaman naves, ¿verdad que sí? Escucha esto. El libro de Deuteronomio, uh, capítulo 28, versículo 68. 78. 78. Está pente, está pente. Vamos a ver ahora, mi hermana, sin prueba contundente. Y Jehová te hará volver al Egipto. Espérese. El pueblo de Israel, ¿qué estaba haciendo en Egipto? ¿Usted sabe? Esclavo estaba. ¿Qué? Estaban eh, eh, este, trabajando para el faraón y para los egipcios. Exacto, éramos qué? Esclavos. Esclavo. Chócala ahí, mi doña. Chócala ahí. <risa> éramos esclavos. Y Jehová te hará volver al Egipto. Ahora esa gente está libre, están bajo Moisés de, de la montaña de, 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 de Mount Sinai. De, bajó, estaban haciendo un par y los israelitas cuando bajó, ¿no te recuerdas que te, se secaron, se quitaron lo, lo, la, la prenda y hicieron una vaca y comenzaron a, a ¿verdad? Eran, eran libres, ¿no? ¿Verdad que sí? Ya no eran esclavos. Escucha. Dice la palabra que si no obedece, que lo van a traer para atrás, para Egipto. ¿Y qué estaban haciendo? ¿En Egipto? Estaban esclavos. Entonces dice Dios aquí, si tú no oyes, te voy a meter para atrás la esclavitud. Te voy a meter para atrás. Si tú no escuchas todo mi estatus y mis mandamientos, coge. Volverá a Egipto en naves. ¿En qué? En, en naves. naves. ¿En qué? En naves. Volvería a y la esclavitud en naves. Mira, checate esa fotocita que tú ves ahí, mi hermana. ¿Qué usted ve ahí? Voy como a una nave. ¿Y qué tiene? ¿Y qué tiene ahí en esa nave? ¿Y qué estaban haciendo esa gente? ¿Qué? Esa gente era un par y que iban esa gente. No, ¿Para qué? Lee esa Biblia otra vez, para que usted vea. Porque aquí escuchamos ahora mismo que Dios al pueblo de Israel, si no escucha las leyes de que Dios dijo que no iba a regresar para atrás, para la esclavitud. Y esa gente está en una nave. Y esa gente, ¿para dónde van? ¿A un party? 
sino Bang pa qué? Para la esclavitud. Para la esclavitud. Esos barcos no fueron para Colón en el año 1600. Cuando el pirano mandó, cogieron para Colombia, cogieron para Santo Domingo, cogieron para los Estados Unidos. Eso barco, ¿no es verdad que sí? ¿Verdad? Entonces aquí dice la Biblia que el pueblo de Israel será llevado en un pacífico transportamiento, en naves, en a esclavitud. Ahora, mire, ¿se ven? eso le pasó a la gente caucástica o a la gente blanca? A la gente blanca le pasó eso. Le pasó. Ahí, ¿Tú crees que hay gente blanca metida en ese bolsillo? Ahí, que la van a llevar por la esclavitud. No, no, no. no de, escucha. La gente que están en ese bar ya averiguamos que iban, para, iban a ser esclavos, ¿verdad? Ahora. ¿Verdad? Eso le, pasó, eso le pasó a la gente blanca. Y a la gente china le pasó eso. Y a los árabes le pasó eso. Entonces, ¿a quién le sirve esa, esa, esa maldición? ¿A quién le cabe? No, 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 no. no. Y Jehová te hará volver a Egipto en naves. ¿Quién fue que, la, que, que lo maldició? ¿A quién? ¿A la gente caucástica? Ellos fueron esclavos. La gente blanca. Ellos fueron esclavos. Entonces, ¿quiénes fueron esclavos? ¿Usted y tu familia fueron esclavos? Sí, ¿verdad que sí? Y, la, y a él, que es lo que dicen, como nosotros lo llamamos, cocolo. ¿Y a los cocolos? ¿Fueron esclavos? Y los haitianos fueron esclavos. Y los dominicanos fueron esclavos. Y los colombianos fueron esclavos. Sí. Entonces, a eso nada más, a esa maldición, nada más nos pega a nosotros, mi doble. ¿Verdad? Esa maldición no le pega al hombre blanco. Esa maldición no le pega al hombre árabe, esa maldición no le pega al hombre chino, sino nada más a nosotros, a nosotros fueron que nos llevaron en barco para la esclavitud, a venderlo a nuestros enemigos. ¿Le enseño que nosotros fuimos vendidos por nuestros enemigos? Por el camino de cual te ha dicho, nunca más volverás. Esa gente que estaban en ese barco, ¿usted cree que llegaron para atrás para su casa? Léelo. ¿Vieron, sí, léelo. ¿vieron su, su, su tierra otra vez? Esa gente que estaban metiendo en ese barco, los esclavos que estaban hablando, ¿pudieron regresar para atrás? Es una maldición, dice la Biblia, que esa gente que iban en esclavitud, más nunca iban a ver su tierra otra vez. Sigue. Nunca más volverás. Y ahí. Y cuando lleguemos, en ese barco, donde sea que lleguemos, en Colombia, en Santo Domingo, en Puerto Rico, en Cuba, en los Estados Unidos, a donde quiera que nosotros lleguemos. Continuo. Y ahí seréis. Seréis. Seréis vendidos. mi doña, los blancos fueron vendidos, los chinos fueron vendidos, los árabes fueron vendidos, entonces, ¿qué en estas maldiciones le pega más? ¿Al hombre blanco o a nosotros, mi doña? Entonces, por eso mismo es que nosotros sabemos, sin ninguna duda, que nosotros somos el pueblo de Israel, sin duda ninguna. Y ahora, mi doña, ¿qué usted se considera? Ya que usted sabe este mensaje. ¡Epa! Colombia, 
en Santo Domingo, en Puerto Rico, en Cuba. Ese es el maquino. Sí. Ese, ese, ese es el maquino. Yo soy dominicano. Tenemos un boricua. Tenemos, tenemos de todas las. Mira, mira para acá. De, de todo lado del mundo. Pero no tenemos los blancos, no tenemos los chinos, no tenemos los árabes. Porque no le pega. Esta Biblia no le pega a ellos. Esa Biblia nada más nos pega a nosotros. Vendido a vuestros enemigos. Vendido a quién? A nuestros enemigos. A nuestro pana. A nuestros enemigos. A nuestro chan chan chan. A nuestros enemigos. Entonces dice la Biblia ahí que cuando lleguemos a donde íbamos a llegar, que lo que nos iban a comprar, iban a ser nuestros enemigos. ¿Quién nos compró a nosotros? Ay, Dios dice que ellos son qué? Nuestro enemigo. ¿Qué? Nuestro, Nuestro enemigo. ¿Qué dice Dios que son ellos? Ellos fueron los que nos compraron, mi doña. Ahora, ahora, ¿usted la va a creer en la Biblia o usted va a creer en el hombre? En la Biblia, mi doña. Y eso es lo que estamos enseñando ahora. Lo que estamos enseñando hoy es que los hispanos, los nativos y los cocolos africanoamericanos, los que usted ve ahí que son los, los más malos de la bolita, ¿no? ¿verdad? Hasta nosotros mismos somos así. ¿no? ¿No verdad que sí? ¿No verdad? Y los haitianos los queremos sacar también. Esos son nuestros hermanos, ¿no? ¿Me está entendiendo? Es ya tiempo de nosotros reconocer quiénes somos a fondo de la Biblia. Porque si tú hablas la Biblia, tú no vas allá a Puerto Rico en la Biblia, tú no vas allá a México en la Biblia, ¿verdad? Entonces, ¿quiénes somos? Así mismo, mi doña. Entonces, porque así sabemos quiénes somos. Porque si tú abres la Biblia, tú no vas allá a México, tú no vas allá a República Dominicana, tú no vas allá a Guatemala, tú no vas allá a eh, 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 Bolivia, ni ninguno de esos países. El Señor nada más hizo 18 naciones. Acuerdo de la Biblia, esa es una de 18 naciones. Si usted lee la Biblia, pero ¿sabe lo que me pasa a nosotros? Que nosotros no leemos la Biblia, nosotros, mi doña. Nosotros vamos para una iglesia cristiana para que nos enseñe a nosotros lo que dice. Pero dice, maldito sea el hombre que confía en el otro hombre. Entonces nosotros mismos tenemos que leerla para que nosotros, sin duda, Sabe, supremo o sabemos quiénes somos, mi doble. ¿Me entiendes? Uh, bring that out, kid. Escucha esto. El libro de San Juan, capítulo 1, versículo 40, 47. Cuando Jesús vio a Natanael que se le es, es, acercaba, como usted, mi doña, que usted sí me acercó, ¿no verdad que sí? Dijo él. ¿Dijo qué? He aquí un, un verdadero israelita. ¿He aquí qué? Un verdadero israelita. ¿Qué? qué? Un verdadero israelita. He aquí, mi doña, usted misma es la verdadera israelita. Right. Eso es lo que dice la Biblia. Que usted es la verdadera israelita. Sin duda ninguna. Mira, mira la juventud que te ve ahora. Mira, mira la juventud que te ve para aquí. Nosotros podemos hacer otras cosas. Nosotros podemos estar en la casa jugando videitos, fumando hierba, robando. No, ¿verdad? ¿Y qué es lo que estamos haciendo aquí parado en este equipo? Despertando nuestra gente, mi doña. Porque nosotros podemos no hacer otra cosa. ¿No es verdad que sí? Nosotros estamos aquí abajo frío, abajo lluvia. No importa las condiciones. Porque ya estamos en un tiempo que ya se está acabando lo que se daba. Hasta los mismos Estados Unidos, ya esta vaina se acabó, mi doña. Tanto no se encontraban los cuartos en la calle, mi doña. Cuando, cuando mi mamá primero llegó para acá, ella me decía, oye, yo me encontraba todo el dinero en la calle. No es lo que sí me doña. ¿Y a dónde está el dinero?
dinero, mira dónde está el dinero, mira, mira cómo está, cómo está la gente perdida, fumando droga. Esa es nuestra gente, mi doña. Esa es nuestra gente, estamos perdiendo, estamos perdidos, mi doña. El tiempo para regresar para casa. Nosotros somos como los muchachos que se ponen rebeldes y se quieren ir de la casa. Y ahora están, estamos realengo en la calle sin tener hogar. Ya tenemos que regresar para nuestro hogar. Nuestro hogar es el, el pueblo de Israel y Dios que está en el cielo. El libro de Osea, capítulo 4, versículo 6. Mi pueblo fue tal lado porque le faltó sabiduría. Porque tú desechaste la sabiduría, yo te echaré del sacerdocio. Y pues que olvidaste la ley de tu Dios, también yo me olvidaré de tu hijo. Ahí escuchamos, mi doña, que el pueblo de Israel está perdido por falta de sabiduría. ¿Qué es lo que significa eso? Eso significa que el pueblo de Israel no sabe de verdad quiénes somos. No, sa no, sa no sabemos nosotros que somos el pueblo de Israel. Nos llamamos dominicanos, nos llamamos boricua, nos llamamos todo otro nombre que no es el pueblo de Israel. Nos damos el nombre de la gente que nos ha oprimido. Mira, yo todavía tengo el bajo de, los, de esos españoles. ¿Qué lengua yo estoy hablando con usted? Eso no es una lengua natural de nosotros. ¿Usted cree que eso está ahí? ¿No estaban hablando español? A ellos habían que darle golpe para que ellos aprendieran la lengua. A ellos había que matarlos para que ellos se hicieran católicos. Esos indios no eran católicos. Esos indios no hablaban el lenguaje que todavía... Eso fue... ¿Cuántos años pasó eso? ¿Desde hace cuántos años pasó eso? 400, 400. años 1600, 1400, ¿no verdad? Estamos en el 2023, mi doña. Y todavía no queda el bajo. Mira la, la lengua que te estoy hablando. En español. Es en el bajo del español. Todavía no queda el bajo mierda de esos españoles, mi doña. Todavía. ¿Y sabe qué? Nosotros no pensamos que somos blancos también, mi doña. Nosotros creemos que somos europeos. ¿Tú, si tú le preguntas a los americanos, no, tú eres prieto. Yo. Yo no. Yo no. Eso no es verdad, mi doña. Nosotros creemos que somos europeos. No, yo, mi papá y mi mamá son europeos de, de español. Nosotros somos españoles. Coño, qué, qué charlatanes somos nosotros, mi doña. Oiga, ahora que tú sabes que usted es irrealista, ¿qué tú crees que debemos hacer? Bueno, mi doña, eso está, eso está eh, gobernado por los blancos. ¿No verdad que sí? Ese, ese, ese Israel, hasta ahora mismo Israel está habitado por nuestro enemigo. Porque acabamos de leer que lo que nos iban a vender y comprar iban a ser los europeos. Porque España, Europa, los franceses, Europa. ¿No verdad? ¿En Haití qué habla? ¿Qué lenguaje habla? No, eso fueron los lo franceses que arrasaron con ese pedazo. En Brasil, ¿qué habla? Que es portugués, ¿no verdad que sí? Otra gente blanca que llegaron, de, que llegaron a arrasar con Brasil para allá. No verdad, en México, ¿qué habla? Órale, órale, vato. Ellos no hablan español también, un modo raro, pero hablan español, ¿no verdad que sí? Esos blancos agarraron y arrasaron con mitad del mundo de nosotros, mi doña. El libro de Román, capítulo 9, versículo 26. Y será que en el lugar donde les fue dicho. Cuando nosotros estemos en Colombia, Santo Domingo, Puerto Rico, etc. Vosotros no, so no sois pueblo mío. Allí serán llamados hijos de el Dios viviente. A donde nosotros estemos, eso ya voy a 
eh, estamos escuchando una profecía que nosotros nos íbamos a recordar en, el, en la tierra de nuestra esclavitud quiénes somos, y eso es lo que estamos haciendo ahora. Estamos en los finales, ya estamos aprendiendo. Cuando leemos esa Biblia, decimos, miel, esa vaina suena como que soy yo. Miel, esa vaina como que me suena como que, como a mí y a mi gente. Miel, eso, eso me pasó a mi antepasado. Estamos ya reconociéndonos quiénes somos. Entonces, eso es lo que está pasando ahora. Ya que usted sabe que usted es israelita, ¿qué tú crees que debemos de hacer aparte de ir para Israel? Porque eso no se va. Eso no se va a dar hasta que venga el Señor a traernos físicamente para allá. No sabe si no sabe sí, también. Eh, eh, ¿Qué es lo que qué? ¿Qué es lo que debemos de hacer como el pueblo de Israel? Oh, abrir los ojos a las personas. Es buena constante. ¿Qué más, mi doña? Y este predicar, predicar el evangelio. Le voy a dar una también. ¿Quieres saber lo que debemos de hacer? El libro de primer Juan, capítulo 5, versículo 3. Sácalo. Porque este es el amor de Dios. ¿Cuál es el amor de Dios? ¿Usted ama a Dios? Pero sí. déjame yo preguntarle algo. ¿Cómo tú le demuestras a Dios que tú le amas? ¿Tú puedes dar un besito a Dios ahora mismo? No. ¿Dale un abrazo a Dios ahora mismo? Bueno, yo le... No. ¿Dale un abrazo a Dios ahora mismo? No, no se puede, ve. ¿verdad no. que no? Dale un besito a Dios ahora mismo. Entonces, ¿cómo tú demuestras que tú verdadera ama a Dios? Te voy a dar la contenta para que no te ponga a romperte la cabeza. Sigue. Porque este es el amor de Dios. Porque este es el amor de Dios. Pero te voy a enseñar cómo se demuestra que tú amas a Dios. Sigue. Que guardemos sus mandamientos. ¿Qué? Que guardemos sus mandamientos. ¿Cómo? Que guardemos sus mandamientos. Una vez más. Que guardemos sus mandamientos. ¿Cómo tú le demuestras a Dios que tú en realidad lo quieres, mi doña? ¿Cómo que? ¿Cómo dice? Eso iba a decir que guardemos sus mandamientos. Eh. Porque a Dios no se le puede dar un besito, no se le puede abrazar, ¿verdad? Ni se puede ver. ¿No es verdad que sí, mi doña? Sí. Entonces, acuerdo a la Biblia, nosotros para demostrar que sí queremos a Dios, tenemos que guardar su mandamiento. Ahora, ¿tú quieres que yo te enseñe unos o dos, tres mandamientos para el pueblo de Israel? Sí, yo no lo sé. Dígame uno, entonces. Amarás al Señor tu Dios con todo tu corazón, con toda tu alma y con todas tus fuerzas. Yeah. Amarás a tu prójimo como a ti mismo. Yes. No tomar el nombre de Dios en vano. Yeah. <risa> Esos son... Eso, ¿Cuántos me dijiste? ¿Tres? Tres. Hay 613 mandamientos. Wow. Usted estaba usted estaba correcto en tu contrito, pero yo déjame yo darle un poquito más. ¿Usted come, ¿Usted come cielo? Sí. Escucha esto. <risa> Escucha esto. Este, el libro de Levítico, eh, capítulo 11, versículo número 7. Saca. No. También, el cerdo. ¿También qué? El, el cerdo. cerdo. También, ¿what? El, el cerdo. cerdo. También, el cerdo. Porque tienes pezuñas. Porque tiene pezuñas. ¿Te ves la patica de los cerdos? Es como así abierta. ¿No ves la que sí? Sigue. Y este pezuñas hendidas. Y pezuñas hundidas. Porque la, en el medio está hundido de las uñas. ¿No ves la que sí? Sí. El caballo tiene las uñas así. Y el cerdo tiene las uñas dividida y hundida en el medio. ¿No ves la que sí? Sí. Sigue. Pero no rumía. Pero no rumía. ¿Tú sabes lo que significa rumiar? Sí. ¿Qué es lo que significa rumiar? Es cuando la, la vaca y los, lo, y lo, y los, los, uh, Chivo. los chivos comen hierba. ¿Comen qué? Hierba. ¿Comen qué? Hierba. ¿Tú ves esos animales comiendo porquería en la calle? 
cochinada. Esos animales lo que comen nada más que hierba. Hierba. Entonces. Esos son los animales que reunían. Que reunían. Vamos a seguir. Espérese. Lo, también el cerdo porque tiene pezuñas. Porque tiene pezuñas. Y es de pezuñas hendidas. Y también como la vaca, que la vaca también tiene pezuñas hundidas, ¿no es verdad que sí? Y el chivo también tiene las uñas hundidas. ¿Sigue? Pero no rumía. Pero él, el cerdo, no rumía. ¿Sigue? Los tendréis por inmundo. ¿Lo tendré por qué? Por inmundo. ¿Lo tendré por qué? Por inmundo. ¿Qué es lo que dice ahí, mi doña? Es que lo tendremos por inmundo. Entonces, el cerdo es sucio, mi doña. El pueblo de Israel no debe de comer cerdo. ¿Y tú sabes qué? Que nuestra gente es loquísima con el pernil, con el chicharrón, ¿eh? con el salado y salchichón. Préstame un pedazo de salchichón con plátano. ¿No es verdad? ¿Eh? Dice Dios aquí que nosotros lo tendremos por inmundo. Sucio. Déjame yo darle dos más. Oh, Versículo 8. De la carne de ellos no comerías. De la carne del cerdo no comeréis. Sigue. Y tocaréis su cuerpo muerto. Oye, oye. Ni se puede ni tocar, mi doña. Olvídate de comerlo. Ni se puede ni tocar, mi doña. ¿Qué usted piensa de eso? Bueno, que está, está bien porque lo dice la palabra de Dios. Porque lo dice Dios. ¿Somos nosotros que lo estamos diciendo o estamos leyendo de la Biblia? Sí. ¿No es ¿no verdad que estamos leyendo de la Biblia? Sí. Y eso es lo que estamos enseñando nos, nosotros. Nosotros estamos enseñando los estatutos, las leyes, para nosotros regresar para casa. Que sí. ya es tiempo de nosotros parar a echar la tenería. Sí. Mi doña, eso da vergüenza. Sí. Mira cuántos pájaros allá en Santo Domingo. Sí. Eso se está flotando de pájaros. ¿No ves la? Es una moda. Sí. Los bugarrones están acabando allá. ¿No ves la que sí, mi doña? Sí. Yo tengo esta vergüenza de decir que yo soy dominicano alguna vez. Así mismo, ¿eh? Porque me pueden confundir a mí como un bugarrón. Sí. ¿No ves la que sí, mi doña? Sí. Carita, no son de aquí. Le voy a enseñar lo que se debe de comer en el, en el mar, en el océano. ¿Usted come cangrejo? Sí. ¿Usted come langosta? Sí. ¿Usted come camarón? Sí. Déjeme enseñarles lo que dice la Biblia que nosotros no podemos comer que está abajo del agua. ¿Viste? Versículo 9. Coger. Esto comeréis de todos los animales que viven en, en las aguas. Esto comeré de todos los animales que están en el agua. Coger. Todo lo que tienen aletas y lo que, escamas lo que tengan aletas y escamas ¿qué tiene aletas y escamas? Oh, el pescado ¿el qué? el pescado y el tiburón ¿tiene escama? el tiburón, sí ¿el tiburón tiene escama o tiene la piel como...? ah no, 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 lo tiene lisa la tiene lisa, ¿no verdad? sí ya lo escuchar esto es lo que se debe comer. Esto comeré de todos los animales que viven en las aguas. De todos los animales que están en las aguas, esto es lo que tú te puedes comer. Todo lo que tienen aletas. Todo lo que tienen aletas. Y escamas. Y escamas. En las aguas del mar. En las aguas del mar. Y en los ríos. De... Y en los ríos. Estos comeré. Tú puedes comer eso. Lo que tengan aletas y escamas. Pero todos los que, lo que no tienen aletas y lo, escamas. Lo que no tienen aletas y escamas. En el mar. En el mar. Y en los ríos. Y en los ríos. El, el cangrejo. ¿Tiene aletas? No. ¿Tiene escama? No. ¿Se puede comer o no se puede comer? No se puede comer. ¿Verdad? Lo que dice la Biblia. El cangrejo. ¿Se puede comer o no se puede comer? No se puede comer. ¿Verdad? Eh, 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 uh, el pulpo, ¿se puede comer o no se puede comer? No se puede comer. Verdad. Eso es lo que dice la Biblia. No se sienta mal, mi doña, porque yo también comía pulpo. Yo también comía cangrejo. Yo también comía cerdo, mi doña.
mi doña, yo no soy mejor que nadie, por lo que yo aprendí lo que Dios requiere del pueblo de Israel y de que yo aprendí que yo soy el pueblo de Israel, le dije, espérate, si Dios quiere que yo haga una cosa así, 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 así mismo yo lo voy a hacer. Porque ya cuando se acaba esta vaina, mi vida tiene que perdurar. Dios promete una vida que nunca se va a terminar, infinita. Esta vida, yo puedo cruzar la calle y me echar un carro. Me pueden dar un tiro ahora mismo. ¿No es verdad que sí? Sí. Doña, entonces yo estoy preocupado de la vida que nunca se termina. Exacto. Oh. ¿Me entiendes, mi doña? Sí. ¿Alguien más quiere traer antes de cerrar esto? Sigue. Pero son todos los que tienen aletas y escamas en el mar y en los ríos, así de todos los que se mueven como de todas cosas vivientes que están en las aguas, se te, te traes en opin, abominación. O sea que cuando tú comes ese cangreo, tú estás abominando. Dios odia la abominación, mi doña. Cuando tú te comes ese pulpo, tú estás rompiendo las leyes y estatutos, mi doña. Y por eso es que estamos maldecidos. Y con eso, mi doña, la va a soltar. No yo, mi doña. Muchas gracias. No, gracias a usted, gracias a usted. Oh, praises. Let's give the lady sister a round of applause real quick. Oh, praises. Oh, praises. mi doña. Adoro. Adoro. Get off with the Spanish Oh. Three, three. Mighty, mighty, mighty. Hey man, you should come up here just to close it out. Well, no. I know, yeah, that's going up. You know what I'm saying? All praise. I'm just closing out. Can we get 17? All praises. This, this is the book of Leviticus, chapter 17, verse 10. Bring it out. And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, right. that eateth any manner of blood, right. I will even set my face against that soul. Chapter 17, verse 10. Bring it out. So likewise ye, when ye shall have done all those things which are commanded you, say, we are unprofitable servants. Say what? We, we are, are unprofitable servants. What the Lord say? We are unprofitable servants. We get up the sheep. We are unprofitable servants. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 149. And verse number five. Bring it out. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Read it again. Let, Let the saints be joyful in glory. 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 Read on. Let them sing aloud upon their beds. What are we doing? Let, Let them sing aloud upon their beds. Read. Let the high praises of your power be in their mouth. Uh -huh. And a two-edged sword. And a what? And a two-edged sword. And a what? And a two-edged sword. Read in their hands. To do what? To execute vengeance. To do what? To execute vengeance. To execute vengeance upon who? Upon, upon the heathen. 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 And what? And punishments upon the people. And what? And punishments upon, upon the people. To do what? To bind, to bind their kings with chains. To do what? To, to bind, bind their, their kings with chains. chains. The to, to bind, bind their, their kings with chains. And their nobles with feathers of iron. And their what? And, and their, their nobles with feathers of iron. iron. To execute upon them the judgment. The judgment written. Right? This honor has all his sake. Read on. Praise ye Yahweh. Praise ye who? Praise ye Yahweh. Praise ye who? Praise ye Yahweh. Praise ye who? Praise ye Yahweh. Call on 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 Yahweh. Death to America. Death to America. Death to Rhode Island. Death to Rhode Island. Come on, you
Come here, 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 Come here,